Mike. It's well, what's up, guys? <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to Missouri Star Live. Hope you're having a fabulous Tuesday. I am Misty Doan. We've got Jake back there uh, behind the Just camera. Shouting it out. Shouting you know? out questions and things. Let's see where we have everybody tuning in from. We have Cheryl from Cleveland, Oklahoma. Oh, she'll be joining us in Bartlesville. Awesome. We're excited to see you there. Trudy, thank you for watching. Debbie from California, thank you guys so much for being here. Watching along with us. We got Copper, Joyce. How are you guys doing today? Wonderful. Well, we are. A shout out to Rhode Island. Holla, holla. <laughs> we are gearing up for Jenny on the Road. Everybody's right after this is heading out to Pennsylvania. So that's pretty fun. So if you're in that neck of the woods, be sure and, and join us. All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. Yep. We're going to go find ourselves in Pennsylvania. It's going to be great. So. So make sure you come and join us there. If you have the chance, we would love to see you. I'm sure there are probably still some tickets at the door, right, Mary? Yeah, so you can, can join the fun if you haven't got a ticket yet. So today, we are talking about Christmas in July. We're gonna start some Christmas projects because that will be here before you know it. And so this year we are going, I mean this year, today we are going to make the uh, Christmas tree skirt. So it's Wait, really easy. Click here on this. I'm not getting the Facebook comments. Give me one second, Misty. Okay. All right, well, we'll wait a minute before we, we get rolling. Okay. Awesome, we good now? Good morning, Martha. All right, excellent. Okay, so for this uh, project, what I did is I used two uh, charm packs, and this line that I used is called Holiday Lodge by Deb Strain from Moda. It is so cute, totally up my alley. I love all the buffalo checks and the little reindeer. It's really, really cute. And so what I've done is I took, like I said, two charm packs and I laid them out in a nine by nine square, sewed those together. And I just, um, the pattern has you kind of curve the corners a little bit. So you just angle off the corners. And all you do to do that is you, I actually kept my pieces here. You can see it was just a regular square to begin with. And you just lay it on the 45, cut Wait, it. Wait, we need to pull slide down. it. Pull, pull, it, down, pull it down, there we go, is that better? So you can see here, here's the piece that I trimmed off. And I just laid my ruler on the 45 across there on each of the four corners. And then I put my uh, binding, not binding, I am all, I, my what words are twisted today. Food. This is a border. All right, I put my border here to continue that and just give it a Wait, little bit of a curve. Was? I forgot your juice. No, no juice, it's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. We have like little rituals. I drink like a grape juice every time, every week. Just now you know. And I didn't have it today. So maybe that's why I'm, I'm off, but that's okay. So, listen, so this listen. is all done now. And we've got these. Copper says there's Misty cutting corners again. Cutting corners, <laughs> literally this time. So it turned out really, really fun. I think you guys will like this. So now the scary part is cutting into this bad boy. So what I'm going to do first, actually, now that I've got it unfolded, is I'm going to take a pin and I'm going to mark my center. I'm going to fold this in Mom half. Mom slash grandma just said she caught us live for the first time. Oh, welcome. So glad you could be here. Hello, Mom. Grandma. All right, so I've got a pin. I'm marking my center right here. Well, hopefully I didn't go through too many layers. Let me just do that one more time because I need to open this up flat. All right, so then you want to decide where you want to be the front of your tree skirt and where you want to cut into. And so I am going to just go with it right here. Did you want to talk about the squares, like laying it out? Yeah, it's just nine by nine. I said that part. Okay. So, yep, just super basic nine by nine, um, five inch square pack that I did here. And we just sewed them in rows and sewed them together and put, this is a, I believe it's, two and three quarter inch border, which is kind of an odd size, but I just followed right along with our pattern. So that's what it says there. And let's see here. Here's my ruler. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to cut to our center mark. Let me see here. I'm using my ruler and it should measure in two and a quarter. I'm actually gonna what, mark this and then cut it. What would be the best fabric type to back this with? Oh, you could back it with anything. I just backed it with uh, 
standard cotton, quilting cotton. But I you feel, could. I feel like fleece. If you have a real tree, you're going to be picking up some needles. If you use fleece. How many rows? Nine by nine. Nine by nine. Yep, exactly. Okay, so now we're going to mark this. I'm measuring in because I'm using five inch squares and I've got, um, I took my seam. So that makes this, hold on. Let me just make sure I'm doing this right. Yep, four and a half. So I'm going to measure in from the side, two and a quarter. <laughs> so like you're about to cut that quilt. I am going to cut this quilt. You guys are gonna watch me do it. So it's just a nine by nine, like mini charm pack quilt. And then yep. she's bordered it with a plaid. Yep, border. two and three quarter inch uh, border. And I do have to say this fabric is so pretty cute. good looking. I'm actually, let's see here. <laughs> I wanna really see this. So I'm, I'm just gonna break all the rules. We're gonna cut our quilt. I'm gonna mark it with a pen. But remember, this is going to be where we're going to bind. No one's going to see this part. So it's okay. It's really fine. I just want to be able to see it. Hawaii Grammy, what time is it there? Are you in Hawaii? Holy smoke. She said she finally woke up early enough to catch one of these. That is dedication. Name of the fabric. This is called Holiday Lodge by Deb Strain. And it is so stinking cute. All right, so you can see I'm just marking all the way to my center point here. And I did it. I wrote on my quilt and it feels a little scary, but it's all gonna turn out great in the end. And then in the pattern, there is um, a little template that you can trace of a four and a half inch circle. And so I'm gonna- Or just pick, like a coffee cup or the size of your or like trunk. A, a CD, which are totally outdated now. DVD, we still have those, and Blu-rays, so that'll work. Maybe a paper plate. Paper We're plate. Whatever size you want to go around um, your opening. So I'm just going to pin this in place it's here. 6 a.m. That is, that's dedication. I'm proud of you. There we go. And now I'm going to trace around this. And i got to say, well, we have a minute here. Our fans are the best. You guys are amazing. Thank you for tuning in all the time. There we go. Can you see this? You see what I'm doing? Just tracing my circle now. And this circle obviously is any size you need it to be. Yeah, so if you have a real tree, you might need a little bit larger opening. Just find something you have around the house and use that as, as a guide. This is not rocket science. We can make this work. Okay. So now I have all the tracing done and we're gonna cut into it. So this is the big scary part. I'm gonna use my scissors cause I don't wanna run the risk of cutting through something I don't want to. I'm just gonna cut right on those lines that I marked. This is giving me anxiety even though I know it works. Whoops. So Susan was saying, if you don't want it as a tree skirt, if you don't put up a big tree anymore, be a great wall hanging. I totally oh, agree. Oh, absolutely. You kind of pick out your favorite fabric, fussy cut the squares. It would be kind of fun. All right, so we've got the straight part done. Now we're going around the circle. Yeah, this is the point you don't want to screw it up. Yeah, don't mess up. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> no pressure, Misty. <laughs> no pressure. We're all watching you. You know, <laughs> it's going to be fine. I'm just not worried about it. There we go. 2 a.m. in Australia. Wowzers. All right, we did it, guys. We did our cutting. It's as One simple as that. One perfectly fine quilt chopped in half. Chopped, just, you know, not even in half all the way. But you can see that is done. So now all we're going to do is we're gonna bind this just like we would any other quilt. So we're gonna pick a spot, attach our binding, and we're gonna take it all the way into this circle. So I'll go ahead, I have my binding prepped here. It's just a traditional two and a half inch um, binding. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just Start sewing this on. 
Let me think here. We had a good Where question. They, they were saying, is there any um, ideas for people that can't cut through that many layers? What do you mean? I think maybe like with the scissors there. Oh, if, if you have a, a hard time cutter. with cutting, you could absolutely rotary cut this. I just am more comfortable with scissors, but just take your time, use your ruler as a guide with your rotary cutter, and you absolutely could. Yeah, if you have one of the smaller rotary cutters um, for this, the circle, it might be easier, or if you could just switch to scissors for that one little bit. But um, a, good, a good sharp pair of scissors, like the ones I was just using, it cuts through it with no, no trouble, but I would recommend um, you could totally use a rotary cutter, especially for the straight edge. What about an uh, oxygen acetylene torch? <laughs> I don't know what that is, Michael. <laughs> just, a, just a plasma torch? The no, scientist in the not. room is talking, and I am not following along. Do not burn your quilts, guys. That's bad advice. Bad advice. All right. So we're just going to start this if you guys have any questions. <laughs> but this is pretty much straightforward. Think about how cool this awesome quilted uh, tree skirt will be, though. Oh, absolutely. Everybody's saying, like, don't cut it. It's beautiful. It's yes. going to be awesome. Oh, my gosh. I almost dropped the mic. Sorry about that. All right. Every once in a while, it's good to be a little brave and try something new. And I think it's going to be beautiful when it's all done. Oh, somebody asked if that's bias binding. This is not bias binding. No? It's, to go around that circle? I did not cut it on the bias. Um, it's just a tiny little circle, so I'm hoping I don't have any trouble. So for the most part, they're all straight seams. Yeah, so. for the, the whole outside of this is all straight seams, so I just went with traditional binding. And I'm just going to take my time on the, that curve in there. All right. I don't know if you guys saw, but this is the, like the best tip that I have. <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do for binding. I just, someone told me to prep my binding when I am cutting out all my other pieces. And so I do that and then I just have it rolled up and ready to go. And so then it's so easy to just get to this point. It's just ready and waiting for you. And I just sit this in my lap as I sew along and it's the best. So there's another little tip if you don't do that. So people are asking, is this uh, is a flannel? This is not flannel. This is just traditional quilting cotton. It kind of looks like flannel because it's got all this fun um, lodge vibe to it, but it's just cotton. It's really cute. All right, now we're working towards the middle here. I just kind of transfer the bulk so I don't have to fight with it later. Here we go. Um, somebody said they had some issues with the binding on the corners. We will walk you through it. We're going to do that. Okay. Yeah, so far it's it's been just, I've just been keeping my needle down and pivoting. It's worked great. Five inch square packs was it? This is just two packs of five inch squares. So two pa two packs. Yep. Sorry, I was a little far away. Two packs of five inch squares. All right, so we're gonna try this circle and see how it goes. But like I said, I think we'll be fine. Just gonna take our time and ease that in there. I can keep the bulk from pulling it down on me. All right. Mm. 
Alright. Anything else coming up? Question wise? Oh wait, go there. Is it hard to sew the circle binding? Um, it's a little tricky, but you just want to take your time. Is that where we're at right now? That's where I'm at right now. I am on the circle right now. I'm just going a little bit, stopping, pivoting, making sure that I get the curve right, keep my seam allowance where I want it, and just keep moving this around out of the way so I'm not fighting that bulk too much. There we go. Can't see what you're doing. We got a better angle? A little better, can you see? Do you want to move in? Here, hold up, Misty. Pause for okay, a second. Okay, pause Let's for a bring, second. Bring that side camera around. We'll see what we can do here. No, not that one yet, just this power. We're going handheld. All right, he's For you in. guys, we'll do it. Oh my gosh. All right, so I am just easing my curves. It's not any better. Can you see any better? No? Here, hold on. As it go over her left shoulder. Let me come back in here. We gotta switch it out. Give them, give them what we got. Okay, get it. Where did we start the binding at? I just started it on one of the outside edges. Take a few and turn. Ease yeah, that's the over. worst. Some, somebody's talking about the notifications. I hate it when they send me a live notification after the live video's over. That's yeah, the that's that's the worst. There we go, just easing. You're able to see this okay, Isaac? Yes. Okay, we're almost to that in there. So this is the circle, so she's kind of slowly I'm turning slowly it. slowly turning. Now I've made it to the edge, so I'm going to pivot, and we can talk about this corner here. And so all I do is keep my needle down when I'm about a quarter inch from that edge, and I fold my binding over where I need it to go, and I'm just going to continue down. There we go. Now I'm to a straight side. I can just zoom right. along. Switch it out. We're sorry for the handheld. What was that? It's all we could do. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see at the machine, isn't it? All right. What's the name of the pattern? And how can we get it? It's called the Christmas Tree Skirt, and it's in the description. Yep, we linked to it in the description or the post for you, so you can find it there. All right. Do you want me to keep going around the edge, or do we want to talk about... Uh, we have some we got about panels 10 minutes. to show. All right, I'll keep sewing. we have any questions or anything. It's pretty straightforward. The thing that's so fun about this pattern is if you have a particular block or something that you love, you could use it in the center. Um, just make a small square quilt and use these same methods and you can make a tree skirt in whatever style you want. It doesn't have to just be five inch squares. But if you're going to go to too much trouble with the piecing, you probably don't want to cut into it. I can understand that. Oh, you can move the comments, Piper. What? Just slide the comments off. Swipe them away. Yep, you should be able to swipe them out of your way. Unless you love reading the comments. There we go. So 
So if you're just joining us, we're making the Christmas tree skirt. We're being brave and cutting into our quilt top. So Stardust Girl wants to know what a good starter project is. So actually, maybe not cutting into this quilt top, but I always recommend just grabbing a pack of five inch squares and start sewing them together. Five if, inch squares, they're they're cheap. Five, ten inch squares are, are just as easy. Yeah, ten inch and you squares get are a just as easy and quilt. you get a bigger quilt. You get more bang for your buck that way. But um, I just think sewing squares, really with quilting, you just have to figure out how to get that perfect quarter inch seam or your consistent quarter inch seam. And then you can make any of these projects. You just have, it just takes practice, just like anything else. And so I recommend just starting with squares because it's really easy to tell if your um, seams are consistent. It's great practice. All right. Janet was saying she tunes in to make sure that I'm not hucking earrings. Oh, I was. You don't know how close I was to having to really do this. He really was life. close to teaching this today. Our son's having to go see a specialist, a burn specialist. He got a burn yes. on his leg. Poor, poor guy. And uh, it was, it was gonna happen at like eleven, and we got it moved to two o'clock. So. I well, was about that's to... not too. We didn't. We didn't move it. They couldn't get him in. I wanted well, to get perfect. him in this morning. They couldn't get him in until later. So, so yeah. keep him in your thoughts if you wouldn't mind. He's got a pretty bad burn. Make sure if you guys see the spam coming up, they're attacking us again. Please report them. Just go to the three dots and then click report. It's ridiculous. Of course, they want to attack a bunch of sweet people on a quilting I show. I know. What is that? All right. I think the most difficult thing about this project, if I'm going to share, is just dealing with the bulk. But, I mean, when you attach your binding, that's normal anyway. So just moving it out of your way. It just feels a little extra unwieldy, I think, probably because of the circle being cut out. It just kind of wants to go all over the place. But it is not too bad. Just take your time. There you go. I'm doing my best. Dang it. Somebody said block the spam. I'm we are working frantically over here. Trying. The problem is they comment with one name, we block it, and then they change the name to Smidge and comment again, so we have to block it every time. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the crazy. worst. It's, it's the worst. People are... We don't know why people do that, but... Interesting. It's all right. Okay, wait a second. This is something I just, I just heard. Are these prayer hands? Because I thought they were prayer hands. And Somebody then, said that they're high five hands. I heard that too. I think I think not. That seems silly. So so give us your thoughts. Prayer hands or high five th hands? Because I'm I'm on prayer hand boat. Totally. Because I was like, I know. You know what I'm talking about? It's, it's the like emoji. Two people, two the two people high fiving. Yeah. That's what I I heard, Wait, but I on. I don't buy it. Okay. Yeah, it's like where the hands are coming together. We are almost done. We're getting into this last corner over here prayers yeah amen amen glory hallelujah <laughs> all right Friends. i could see both too hey i could see both i know i'm talking a lot this time but my justification is if it was high five hands they'd be wearing different color shirts they, they'd look different yeah it's, it's the prayer same. hands it's the, it's the same shirt it's the same yeah. human we're, we're getting down to the hard-hitting questions today Great. You know, this is what we do. We really just dive all the way in. <laughs> I love it. It's fun. Okay. Coming into the last corner on this. There we go. Just turn in here. We will pray for the spammers, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon's in Australia as well. We appreciate you. This is dedication. Deep thoughts. Deep thoughts by Jake. <laughs> All right. Last straight edge here. And then our binding will all be attached. We didn't think the burn was that bad. Yeah, it was. But 
it was just one of those things where it started hurting him and then we kind of took him in and it it's really just preventative like they don't think it's bad they just want to make sure everything's fine yeah he's just young so they want to make sure there's no no damage that they're not seeing so they're sending him to a specialist let me give you the story okay it was fourth of july he's got a little motorcycle that he rides around and he tipped over and the exhaust pipe got on his leg for a second and gave him a pretty good burn not great, but we're going to get him fixed up. So, all right. That is all done. Ta-da, ta-da. We went all the way around. So now I'm going to leave some tails here so I can deal with that later. And then right, the I think only... The, we huh? really want to talk about the corners on the okay. top if we can. Well, I want to mention one more thing. We do have um, ties to tie your opening that you cut. You want to make those, and so you'll, you'll attach those... At least I will attach them before I sew on my binding all the way. So all we did for that is we took um, one and a quarter inch. Let me double check that measurement, actually, because I'm second guessing myself. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, one and a quarter um, by 12. I like my ties a little longer, so I just made them longer. Um, and I just turned under my edges a quarter inch and this top edge a quarter inch, and we're just gonna sew a straight edge down that. Somebody's asking the needle size you're using for today's project. It is just, I know it's a good question. Whatever I had in it last time, I think it is still a sharps needle. Let me look here. Where's my pack? Gonna make me have to read the small numbers, guys. Looks like it is. I can't read that tiny number, you guys. I'm sorry. Looks right like it's here. a 9014. 9014. Yep. All right. I am just going to top stitch this down. I have white thread in my machine. I probably wouldn't do that usually, but this way you guys can see. There we go. There we go. Now we have some ties done. And then what you're gonna do for that just gonna show you on one. I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna sew it just with, I probably just hand stitch it honestly. Just a few little stitches in there and then when I pull my binding around, it'll catch it in there and I can take this and tie it closed around my tree. So. Oh, that's smart. Yep. So you can put one there, you can put one farther down, but I'm just gonna put one in just, one on either one on either side of the circle, right? One on either side of the circle, exactly. So you can tie them together. So you'd put one on each side. And then let's talk about these corners since yeah, we had some questions. the only question we had. If there's any other questions, put them let in let now because we're getting close. So really all I did was just pivot on each point. And so all you have to do is just fold this around. And I just, I just want to miter this corner as good as I can. And so I'm going to hand bind this. And I just, it just folds right around. You can see even when we get to these ones that aren't quite as sharp, same thing. We're just going to tuck that little bit there and it just lays super nice, no issues at all as we work our way around. You see that, Jay? So then you fold it over and then stitch it down? Yep, you fold it over and stitch it down and, and just do your traditional binding stitch all the way. And I just, uh, usually for me on my corners there, I just take an extra um, couple of stitches to just anchor that corner so it stays exactly where I want it. And I just keep, keep going down and then I fold it over again. Susan is asking about the family, uh, how many people are involved. There's, we have a, a brother, sister that, how for many? the most part, most of the family's involved Pretty, in the business. In some way, yeah. And yeah. adopted children. And we have many adopted many children. Many people that we call family We're a big as family. Well. We are a big family here. So hopefully that was, was pretty straightforward for you guys. I'm not going to cover the actual binding stitch today, but I think you guys 
get the gist of that. It's super fun. I do want to show you a few more of these panels from the Holiday Lodge line because they are so cute and would make such a darling quilt to go with this tree skirt. So if you needed a Christmas quilt or wall hanging to go with your tree skirt that you're making. Oh man. These are so cute. Wait, how are we seeing this? Can you see it in the top or you want me to hold it up? Uh, I can see that central panel. Okay. Is that two panels? Is that there's a gray actually one three under it? There's three colorways. So there's this way. I'll hold it up at the end. There's a red. Here, we can get the side cams a little wider. Oh, it's so cute. Has all the fun little sayings on it. That is pretty cool. And then also this black one. I just think it's so stinking cute. So you could make all kinds of fun things to decorate your house for the holidays. And if you start now, you have plenty of time to get it ready. So here, I'll hold this up so you can see more than just the, the center. Jim, we need That's a men's so quilt retreat. That'd be a good idea. I love it. Oh, wait, they want to see the project. Hold the project oh, up. Oh, okay. Well, it's not all, not all bound, but... You can get the idea. You can get the idea. We've got it attached there. Ta -da! Ta -da! And you can Ooh. see once it's all finished Ooh. and bound, <laughs> it will look so cute around our tree. Just tuck all that in, iron it over, and it will turn out so cute. And we'll add just that that touch of hominess and warmth and everybody likes something handmade at Christmas and we got, time. And we got it in early so you guys have plenty of time. Plenty no of excuses time. to not have a homemade quilted tree, tree skirt. skirt. Exactly. And and like I said, if you have a larger tree or um, you know, you can make this however however big or small you need. If you have a tiny little, you know, tabletop tree, you could just do it in a smaller square and use the exact same method. So it's really really fun and, and adaptable. They want to know what the uh, panel is called. Oh, let me look. The name of the panel. The Are those name? in the description as well? Yep. yep, we've linked to all of these. So this is called, doesn't say on that, just says Holiday Lodge. Holiday Lodge. So that's what you're looking for. And so like we, it's, we've linked it in the description and the, the post for you. I just want to show these different colors one more time. They're so cute. Look at the red. And then the black. It's beautiful. Super fun. Beautiful. This really says Christmas to me. I like that traditional Christmas vibe. So I hope you guys will be brave and try cutting into your quilt and making a, a homemade quilted tree skirt. Yeah, you can do get, it. You gotta can give a shout it. out. We have tons of new people today. It was so fun to have all these yes. new people on. So fun to have all of our dedicated followers back absolutely we love so you guys tune in next week again right yep thank you so much for being here Ac yeah next, next week 11 o'clock is it gonna yeah it's tuesday right it is it's normal i checked i got it all fixed we thought we were gonna it's have gonna to be switch normal it. normal time we'll see you next tuesday at 11 o'clock and don't Central. trust those notifications because sometimes they send them to you after this is over and yeah. it's the worst it's always 11 central so so 11 we will see you there thank you guys so much and have a yep. wonderful week see you guys